Oh, good morning, everyone. Phase five has started. One of the interesting changes is if you go to the auction house, then you may notice there's someone with a particular quest and the quest tells you to go to Valley of Spirits. Don't get your hopes up. It's not the nice kind of spirits. Once there, you'll see, handing the quest obviously, but you'll see loads of people who you can hand items into, okay? Now this is all part of the great Ankarab war effort. You need to, as a server, hand in a certain amount of items. And I also think this is based on Horde and Alliance. This is the first time I'm ever gonna hand it anything in. So I've got myself some wall bandages here. So I guess we can speak to this guy and see what we get. And in 20 wall bandages, which I just made. 10 commendations and anchor up war effort supplies. So the first time you hand in, you get 10 commendations. Then the next time you only get three commendations. I'm slightly reluctant to even open these boxes, but okay, so this one has some pretty rubbish armor, shimmering amorous and a scroll of protection. Nice. Have a look at this one. Boots worth about 14 silver. So basically I'm getting low level green items. Now I believe the commendations can be handed in. I think you need, um, I could just hand in one, I guess. I think basically all you do, you get um, 10 commendations. Right, let's hand in 10, see what we get. Okay, Thunder Bluff reputation increased by 75%. Right. So that would suggest to me that there's probably commendations that you can hand in for every faction. So, for example, if you hand in commendations to the trolls, you'll get troll um, reputation. So uh, if you ever wanted to level up um, with a particular faction, guys, this is um, a really good time to do it, I guess. Um, the, the other thing that I quite like is the first time you hand in, you get 10 commendations. Yeah, I've already noticed a bunch of stuff on the auction house has increased in value. Now, I'm expecting this area to be here for at least a week, right? And I, I also think, although I can't be sure, when someone's handed in all the heavy leather that they need, you won't be able to hand in any more. Though I don't know if that's actually the case. There's going to be a lot more mats when you do farming in dungeons and stuff. So you're going to get a lot more nature resist gear popping up. I've been furiously making runecloth bandages and I was wondering something. So I'm going to hand in 20 runecloth bandages and I'll get my 10 horde signets and my war effort supplies. Let's hand in another 20. OMG! I actually get 10 more. That is amazing. You can do some live bandage making with me. I don't know, I find it really cute for some reason or something, right? You've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, they're all sort of just sitting here making bandages. It's, it's, let's hand in um, 30 signets and see what we get reputation wise, because I'd be interested to know that. 30 signets for the war supplies, woo. Anchor our war efforts and what are we gonna get? I didn't even get any reputation. So what I got for handing in 30 is I got a cloak that's worth one gold, which to be fair isn't, is quite nice. So I'm guessing when you hand in, you actually get like um, a chance of getting greater uh, war supplies basically. I'm in Zilifus, so you can see. I just heard that the Neverguard Alliance have actually handed in all the materials for the Great War effort already. And to put that into context, it's 10.39 on the first day, so that's kind of insane. Yeah, so unfortunately, Vargas is the guy you want to talk to for your blacksmithing things, and it looks like they suck. Well, actually, the items are pretty decent. So, for example, if you look at this waste, it gives you 25 strength, 5 all resistances, and 327 armor. Currently, I have 31 strength, etc. It barely seems worth it for the 5 resistances. And you need small obsidian shards, which actually drop from AQ. 
it's not like you can even use blacksmithing to get ready for AQ40 or anything, guys. So that kind of sucks. Actually, you know, some of my guild mates have actually handed in 2 or 3% of the total requirement all by themselves for the war effort, which is kind of insane. So I'm walking around Silifus and there's this guy. What tomorrow brings. So this is a quest I think we can do. Um, venture to the caverns of time in Tanaris and find the brood person. So I've heard about this. Apparently you can, there's a big dragon and you can turn stuff into him. So. I guess just to complete the video, we'll fly over there and let you guys know what's going on. So what I think happens is items will be released later in the patch, perhaps when AQ actually starts. These items will have a lot of nature resist on them. They'll sort of be like catch up gear, basically. So if you haven't got your nature gear ready or as um, decent as it could be, use blacksmithing to catch up. Brood of Nozdamu. Ah, oh, here we go. Complete the quest. Don't really want to wag you, row these guys. So, guys, I've just gone and spoken to the dragon and and now I'm back to hand him a quest. I believe this culminates in having to do a certain dungeon. Only one may rise, okay. Right, yeah, return the head of Broodlord Lashlayer. So this is one of the dragons before Nefarian, basically. Now, I have heard that only one person can hand this in in the whole raid, right? So I don't know how they're going to work this out or how we're going to work this out later on. Perhaps we'll just roll on it. I don't know, if I'm honest. We'll see. But after this day, I think you need to hand in huge amounts of carapaces. I think you gain a mount if you go through this quest chain. And only a certain number of people can actually do this. So fun, fun, fun. It's super exclusive. So anyway guys, I think I'm going to leave the video there, but uh, let me know what you think of uh, Phase 5 starting and what, what are your experiences so far.